Favorites to win the gold medal here, Natalia Vestamianova and Andrei Bukin of the Soviet Union. Still on the first of the three compulsory dances, remember this, called the Killian. Now the difference between this couple and the previous couple is this one's greater flair, greater movement, sense of movement. More moves per second than the other ones who are simple, traditional, and very elegant. unison of both Russian pears and ice dancers is remarkable, isn't it? Yes. In this dance they are being extremely, extremely tight with wonderful deep outer edges. Look at them as they move around. No excess movement here, as we'll see it later in their free dance. Look at the depth there. Privileged to watch something at this level. The lean. Look at that. Wonderful. All right. Vestriyanova and Bukin of the Soviet Union, the favorites, and that is why. I certainly think that there's probably little doubt that they will take first place over Klamova and Ponomarenko whose real specialty is not in this Killian dance. Look at that. Now look at the sweep of that movement. Look at the sweep of the lean, the preciseness of the stepping. Look at the lean that they're getting there. And the immediate lean over to this edge. So the, hardly believe this these is marks. They've been computed and let's put them up there. This is really impressive. As the crowd applauds. Look at that. Five nine five eight five eight five seven five eight five eight five nine five eight and five eight of compulsory dances. That's really something. Oh. You remember the sixes that Torval and Dean got just four years ago? Yep. This couple was second to them at that time. They're wonderful dancers. They're wonderful dancers.